Jacksonville rapper Charles Jones, known as Julio Fulio, shot and killed in Tampa. Could there be anything that could be done with, let's just say, you and Young and Ace sitting down together and saying, look, a lot of f happened on both ends, but we have to just basically, you know, we, we don't have to be friends, but we got to get past this and kind of just move on with our careers because we're both successful in our own way. It probably will happen sooner or later. You never know what God got planned, you know? I told him that a couple times, you know? We talk, we be talking time to time, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you never know what, what could happen. So basically in your mind, you're thinking, if you would just let him come with you and you just let bygones be bygones, and yeah. some little petty shit anyways, he would have possibly lived. Yes, yeah, I'm a Gemini. I tell you to the heart, like when so like little fuck happen, like and I had to get past that little stage in my life. I can't hold grudges no more. Like yeah, that that one situation that showed me. After that happened, not to say that one thing had anything to do with the other, because I'm not gonna put that out there. Yeah. But Young and Ace got shot eight times, and then his brother died, and then some other people got shot. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not saying it had anything to do with the other with the other situation at all, but now you kind of have this aura of, you know, all these shootings, all these murders, and it's just, you know, the whole Florida scene, you know, the Jacksonville scene is just a mess right now. Mm -hmm. when, when that started to happen, how did you feel about it all? Uh... I really ain't too much. See, I'm from the north side. They from where they from, so I really ain't too much care. Like, not to be like on some, I just really ain't, really, literally, I just ain't care. Like, cause I was already going through so much stuff. Like, I'm like, man, I don't give a, hey, if he in my hood or something that's going on with me, whoever ain't with it, you know what I'm saying? That's how I was feeling. Well, after, after Young and Ace gets shot and his brother gets killed, you wore a t-shirt that said, rest in piss 23. Yeah. With, a, a, I guess, a, a picture of him on the shirt? Yeah. Why do that? Um, It was just like, if you ain't with my hood, fuck you. Like, it was just like, like it was just a lot of like talking and like undercover shit, like a lot of shit being said. So I'm just, I ain't the type, like, I'm a bold person. I'm gonna put a name on anything I say, you know what I'm saying? Like, people like do tip, tax, neat, this and stuff. When I do something, I'm gonna go all the way, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I did. I went all the way and I addressed it. Yeah. Okay. I interviewed him. And you know, the purpose of me bringing this stuff up is not to to escalate mm -hmm. what you guys are doing, but if, but now at this point I've interviewed both of you guys. Mm -hmm. I've interviewed you three times, interviewed mm -hmm. him once. I've had positive experiences with the both of you. And I asked him in our last interview, I don't know if you saw this because it's already out, I said, what would it take for you guys to to squash it all. I've seen that. You've seen it? Mm. Okay. So what he said was, and we'll play the clip, was that you guys have talked a couple of times and he thinks that the beef will end sooner than later. I don't know him. I never even like, I never seen him before in my life. In person? Never seen him. Okay. No, but that's none of them. Anybody, anybody in my city that's into a musical rap, see, this is the thing. See, okay, my city, like, it's like, everybody in my city, they all rap, right? So they rap to diss me so they can get views, so I can respond. So that's the, that's the, that's their way of like, like, getting on. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, it's like a whole, like, when I got shot, everybody went to claim and they shot. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it was like a whole little big city. So everybody who do, everybody who rap in my city, like, who, who, like, who would, they beefing with me right now. None of them didn't even know me. I never even seen them before in my life. You know what I'm saying? So all of them, nobody, I don't know none of them. Like, you know what I'm saying? So everybody started beefing with me out of the blue just because I got on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's just like, I don't know them. So I don't, I'm not, I don't be getting what be going on. I don't know them. Yeah. Well, you've never met him in person. Have the none two of, of you actually talked on the phone? Never talked. Uh, he's, it, it sounded like he wants to somehow work things out. Are you open to work, working things out with him? He want to work stuff out because he know he don't know me for real. So it's like, like I say, like he don't like he he got what he wanted. Like he got the like he got the the fans. Like you know what I'm saying? He got he he went up. So now he got what he wants. So now it's like, oh, 
you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't, like I say, bro, I don't know him. So you took all these losses. He took losses. I feel in a way no one's really winning mm -hmm. in a way. Like, yeah, okay, like people got the music and people could buy jewelry and, and, and people are making some money and everything else like that because, you know, Fulio has his own following as well. And, mm -hmm. you know, it ain't like he's he's a bummy rapper. Like he's, he's, he's starting to, you know, he's making noise. He's got views. He's got fans. But at the end of the day, I, I feel like the losses out, outweigh the wins for everyone involved because you can never bring... Because you can't never beat the streets. Yeah, you can't bring your brother back. For sure. Your brother's not here to, to celebrate with you. Uh, matter of fact, when I was in jail, so I see always tell me, he's always say the streets are undefeated. This past week, the Florida rap scene took another hit when reports emerged about rapper Julio Fulio being shot. The rapper, whose legal name is Charles Jones, was killed in a Sunday morning shooting outside a Tampa, Florida hotel. Julio Fulio had been celebrating his 26th birthday, visiting various locations he had announced on social media, when he and three others were ambushed in a parking lot. And the suspicion of who is behind his death is trending all over the internet, with fingers starting to point to another Florida rapper, Young and Ace, who has had quite a pass with Julio Fulio. We'll get into everything, but make sure to stay tuned because it looks like Young and Ace could be facing some serious legal trouble. And a 24 on scene for Donner. So first, let's get into everything that went down with the whole situation. Tampa police received a 911 call around 4.40 a.m. local time, reporting a shooting at a Hilton Hotel address. Upon arrival, officers discovered two vehicles that had been shot at, with four people injured in the incident. Three of the victims are currently in stable condition and receiving treatment at a local hospital, but the man who was fatally shot is rapper Julio Fulio, legally known as Charles Jones. Jones's lawyer, Louis Fusco, confirmed to local news station that Jones was indeed the victim who was shot and killed. According to Fusco, Jones was celebrating his birthday at an Airbnb rental, but was asked to leave due to the large number of guests. He then moved the celebration to the Holiday Inn, where the ambush occurred. Civil rapper Charles Jones, known as Julio Fulio, shot and killed in Tampa. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Riley Phillips. The rapper was celebrating his 26th birthday. This happened outside a Holiday Inn. If you could take a look at this video, you can see the bullet holes riddling the front of the windshield of this car. It's unclear if Fulio was in this car when it was shot up. On your side, Zach Wilcox joins us live now with more details on the shooting. And Zach, Fulio was a big name in Jacksonville's drill rap scene. And at least three times that we've covered, he's been shot before, once grazing his leg, another time while he was over in Houston, uh, and another time in his foot. So I uh, wanted to touch base, though, with our First Coast News crime and safety analysts about all of this. We did find out from Fulio's attorney that he was in Tampa celebrating his birthday. They've been at an Airbnb that they rented. They exceeded occupancy at that Airbnb, which is when they left and went toward the Holiday Inn. And from Tampa Police's report, we know that he was killed there along with three other victims who were taken to the hospital uh, for treatment there and that there were two cars that they found with bullet holes as well in that parking lot. Jones, who had a substantial following of 1.1 million Instagram followers, had posted on June 14th about his plans for a June 21st Airbnb pool party, inviting his followers to message him for the address. He mentioned that his birthday weekend celebrations would continue at a strip club called Teasers the following day. In previous posts, Jones had revealed that there had been multiple attempts on his life. He had also shared that he he had been shot in the foot and had posted images of himself in a foot cast. These earlier incidents added a chilling context to the tragic events that unfolded on his birthday weekend, ultimately resulting in his untimely death. But there's more that comes with his death. Who is the person behind it? And that's the question everyone is talking about because Julio has had some pretty big problems with another Florida rapper that goes by the name of Young and Ace, and it seems that he could have been the guy behind it. So what exactly is the context behind the beef in the first place? Well, the feud between Young and Ace and Julio Fulio has been a long-standing one, marked by intense rivalry and public taunts. It all started in 2018 when Young and Ace's brother and two close friends were tragically killed in a drive-by shooting in Jacksonville, Florida. Young and Ace survived the attack, and the incident became a major point of tension between the two rappers. What happened to the other three? They died. But my girlfriend ran around. They, to at what point did you realize that they might not be alive? Man, I don't probably like when I when I got the MLMs, I ain't even hit nothing, right? But soon I got the MLMs, 
I just seen my mama right there crying, so I just, I didn't even know my brother was dead. I just told my mama straight on that minute to kill my brother. I just already know him, because I could, when I'm getting shot, I'm coming out the car, when I'm out the car, I can hear him like, like, uh, type shit. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm hearing that shit, so it's like, I really ain't trying to look at him, because I, that, like, you feel me? But like, I see him. Like, I see the air, they fucked up and that, you know what I'm saying? My little brother, 23, my best friend. He really on the ground, like calling for me, like it's a picture. Somebody take a picture, it's a real picture. Like he reaching for me, like calling my name, like Keontae. Like, like trying to, like, we like, we like this with each other. I see my girlfriend, she running around, going to everybody, like, she wrapping me up. I'm telling my girlfriend, straight up looking at her, I said, I'm finna die. Julio Fulio, who is from a rival gang, capitalized on the tragedy by mocking Young and Ace and his deceased friends in his music and social media posts. This escalated the animosity, leading to a series of diss tracks and provocative online exchanges. The hostility between the two has been marked by a back and forth exchange of violent threats and disrespectful lyrics, each rapper using their platform to taunt the other. One notable instance was Julio Fulio's song When I See You, in which he remixed Fantasia's hit song and directed it at Young and Ace, mocking the deaths of Ace's brother and friends. In response, Young and Ace released Who I Smoke, a track that openly disrespected Julio Fulio and his deceased associates, further intensifying the feud. Back to the other story. So the, so the whole, the whole beat, so you dropped Beatbox, but she wasn't satisfied. Like, why wasn't you satisfied? You went to their hood, you shot a video. Bro, Is it because I'm of a, a fan reaction? I ain't though? no hater. I ain't no, the song went crazy. They Who I Smoke went crazy. I'm mad if. It was on a golf course, man. I'm gonna tell you, man. Crazy, um, I'm like, damn, what I could do? I go to Miami. I was already going through my comments. They were like, man, they were sending me a bunch of songs to read me. They sent Miley and the Stars, Party in the USA. Imagine yeah. you rapping on that shit. Party in the USA. They sent um, Michael Jackson beat it. They sent all type of shit. But what still got me was when I see you, Mariah Carey. Uh, who else no. sent Fantasia? Fantasia. Did that song, I first listened to it in the studio. I'm like, damn, this nigga's gonna be mad. So I get back to Jacksonville. I go get a um, poster printed out of the situation, the news clip with his dead homeboys on the shit. I get like two bottles of cheap ass champagne or whatever. I go to the graveyard, I shoot the video, I drop that bit. You don't think you went too far? Hell no. Nah. Once dead people mentioned it's already too far. You know what I'm saying? They already mentioned my brother. So it's already too far, you get know what I'm saying? So anything that happened afterwards is just extra shit. You get know what I'm saying? You know, is it never a time you think like, man, if I do this shit, it's gonna put a bigger target on my back? No, because it's already, it is what it is already. So nothing I can say a dude can make them want to kill me more. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's already stamped. So it is what it is. Given this volatile history, many speculate that Young and Ace or his associates could be involved in the recent ambush that led to Julio Fulio's death. However, no concrete evidence has been presented to substantiate these claims, and the investigation remains ongoing. As the police continue to piece together the events leading up to the shooting, the hip-hop community is left grappling with the tragic loss of another young talent and the lingering questions about the true cause of this violent confrontation. So what do you think of everything? Do you believe that Young and Ace is the man behind Julio Fulio's death, or is the media just trying to cause some more drama? Let us know in the comments down below.